Hello, good evening everyone. Uh, good afternoon. It's, um, I'm writer coach Tony and I'm back to vlogging. Um, it's been raining outside and um, I finally found the time to do some vlogs so I have to update my channel. Um, so today I'm going to do a, a book, a book review of a book I just finished. Now the title is Dancing in the Dark by Maureen Lee. You know? So that's the title of the book. This is the one. Uh -huh. It's not so clear. Um, how do we... Maybe this one. Yeah, Maureen Lee, Dancing in the Dark. So this book, Maureen Lee is one of my favorite writers. Um, she's British and most of her books are based in Liverpool. And I think this is the second book I've read, second or third book I've read about uh, of hers. And I become one of her fans because the, the time frame that she writes is um, before World War II, World War II, and then after World War II, you know, those, so the whole period up to the present, up to maybe present, when I say present, it's like 30 years ago, the 1980s, 1990s. So um, she writes in a multi-generational manner. You know, so she writes about uh, several generations of women so the, uh, her, her characters are mostly focused on the women okay my hair is blowing because I have the fan <laughs> near me it's a bit it's, it's raining but it's warm so I hope you don't mind my hair just you know, moving um, but I have to feel relaxed you know um, so anyway let's go back to the book by Maureen Lee um, technically it's the first book I finished this year 2021 but I started reading it over Christmas. So it could be the last book I read last year or the first book I finished this year. Um, I really enjoyed it. Now I'm a big fan of Maureen Lee. And um, I think I'll, I'll check out all her other books in the secondhand bookstores, which are many here in Manila. So um, her stories have similar, um, like a template. But the stories are different, no? Uh, for Dancing in the Dark, um, you know you know that Bruce Springsteen song, Dancing in the Dark? I didn't know what it means before. But, but because of this book, I was able to... I, I knew... I, I, I got to know um, what it meant, no? Um, so I think I'll just read parts of the book, uh, which I really like, you know, I, because I highlighted, I highlighted several parts of the book. Um, I hope I can see them quickly, uh, because the dancing in the dark bit, I also highlighted it. You know? um, hmm, okay, so can you wait? Uh -huh. Yeah. So here. Uh, it's towards the end of the book, she says, Oh, it, is, it talks about time travel. No? A time traveler went back to the beginning of time and destroyed a blade of grass. I remembered reading, I remembered reading that if a time traveler went back to the beginning of time and destroyed a blade of grass, it could change the entire course of history. So those are one of the <laughs> things I discovered in the book. Which I think is uh, which talks to me, you know. I'm looking for the others. Oh, I hope I can find them. Um, I'm not very good at this highlighting thing, you know. Um, okay. Okay. Now, not I don't know why I highlighted that. Uh, doesn't work. Uh huh. Okay, what do I like about this book? Now, there's a character in the book named Flo. And um, Flo is among the three sisters and one brother. And they grew up in a family that is uh, dysfunctional. So, in other words, uh, their dad was a, was a wife beater. And he abused his children as well, so he would beat his children. And Flo was one of those children. Um, 
So the, the story ends when Flo dies. No? And the story begins uh, when Flo dies. No? So, oh here, here. Uh -huh. oh here, it's another phrase I like. Um, of course you're okay, girl. We all grow old if you don't die young. The thing is to get the best you can out of life, it's time to draw your last breath. Uh, that's very cute. I love that. I was looking for the dancing in the dark thing. I, I hope I was able to to highlight it. Um, it's a pity if I didn't. Uh -huh. Anyway, so um, the three sisters they had different lives, no, and um, uh, flow. Uh, was the one who unfortunately did not get married but she wasn't the unhappiest no? uh, this it's like this book is telling you that you know marriage is not really the the key to happiness no? it's uh, if you think about it the book says that um, the key to your happiness is the way you make the best out of anything no? um, of what life gives to you and then, as you, as I read the book, each of the characters made uh, decisions in their lives, uh, which they thought would give them happiness. Um, so, so it's three generations. So, so there's Flo, there's the sisters. There's, um, what I like about the book is that um, because there's like three generations, Flo is the first generation. And then the second generation, and then the third generation. The third generation uh, daughters, uh, one of them, Min Millie, um, is the one who's closest to Flo. I mean, closest mean, meaning she's the one who is like Flo. And um, in terms of character, in terms of uh, beauty, she's the one who kind of becomes Flo in a new generation. So. Uh, that makes the book interesting because because there are parallels in the character. Um, one of the nice characters in the book are the O'Hara uh, men, no? So there's Tom O'Hara, Hugh O'Mara, O'Mara, sorry, eh, not O'Hara, O'Mara, Tom O'Mara, Tommy O'Mara, Hugh O'Mara, and Tom O'Mara. So the three generations of men, all of them good looking, all of them causing disaster to women so it starts with Tommy O'Mara who impregnates Flo and then uh, one thing I learned in the book is that in the 1950s in the United Kingdom it is a big disgrace to have a child at the age uh, when you're not married so of course now nobody gives an F no, whether you get pregnant and um, your boyfriend leaves you, your husband leaves you. But in the 1950s, apparently it was a different society. So Flo, who's one of the main characters, had to hide her pregnancy. And then she had a choice to marry their, their boarder, an older man of about 40 plus. But she didn't. So, um, then in a strange twist of irony, the baby ends up with a wife of the guy who impregnates Flo, uh, Tommy O'Mara. So, and then Tommy O'Mara dies in a submarine accident. So, because um, when this was story was set, it was set in World War II, and uh, before World War II was happening, so the British were preparing themselves for war against the Germans, but the technology was not yet very advanced. So even in the submarine technology, in a disaster, um, the name of the submarine was Thetis. I'm not sure if it's true, but maybe it's just fiction. But around 160 sailors died in a tragic submarine accident. And that included the man who impregnated Flo. So Flo gives a little baby named Hugh O'Mara. He was named Hugh O'Mara, but the baby ends with the wife of the guy who impregnates flow. 
So uh, Flo never forgave her eldest sister for doing that, and that forgiveness has, has never been given until the day they die. So it was, that's a sad thing in the story. But I guess that's part of um, that's what she really stood for. That she didn't want uh, the baby to be given. Um, I can identify with Flo in many ways because number one, Flo never married, which is weird because she, among the sisters, she was the one who had, who I think had the happiest life, and she was also the one who she had a happy life because she lived it on her own terms. She did not follow the decrees of society, and she also made friends with everyone. So she sought people out, made friends, uh, was active in in their area. So. Um, she did not leave a recluse, a life of a recluse, which is hard. Um, so when she died, there were many people who remembered her, including including the son, uh, the son of her son, no? which is weird. And in the, in the book, the son and the daughter, the half-sister, meet and fall in love. And of course, they were told that they couldn't do that because they were siblings. No? So in a way, because of all the secrets, uh, the, the characters in the book uh, kept, um, there were, the consequences in the future were, were bad. No? Um, one thing, another thing I like about the book is that the resiliency of the, of the characters. No? Because um, they had an abusive father, but even then they were able to uh, not dwell on the negative. Because sometimes, if you're a victim of abuse, you tend to abuse yourself as well, no? get into drugs, um, destroy your life. But in this book, um, the three sisters and the brother, Declan, were able to uh, become better human beings. So, even when they had a, uh, an abusive father. And then later in the book, uh, Maureen shows us why their father uh, maybe turned out that way. You know? Because their father had a mother with mental health problems as well. So uh, in a way, Maureen Lee connects everyone's lives and tries to explain why, why these characters are like this and like that. Right? But of all the characters in the book, I love Flo the best. I want to be like Flo. Um, I want to be exude her personality. What I like about her is that she was able to use her beauty in such a way that she got herself a house, a big house, and then businesses. No? She was so trustworthy that all the earnings of the business went to her. No? Um, you'll find out find that out in the book. Um, if you like love stories that are stretched over generations, um, if you like characters who are similar to you, no, or you have because they're also um, in a way religious, so they they talk to us Filipinos who are also religious. So we have this fatalistic um, view of life where we um, make. We rest all our sufferings into this, into God. No, we allow God to take take care of our lives. So in the the book, the characters here um, have that quality. I guess that's why I've been uh, liking her book very much. No? Um, so anyway, um, if you do get to a secondhand bookstore, my 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 favorite secondhand bookstores are the one in Robinson's Magnolia. Um, and then book sale, there's one in, in Farmer's Market, and then SM, Mega Mall. Um, they're the ones with the best collections. Um, and then of course, there's, I discovered another one in Ayala the 30th, but they have a good secondhand collection of books. So if you see more in Lee, um, and you like books during World War II, you like books about women, um, Get yourself a copy. So thank, thank you very much. Um, please subscribe to my channel and please follow me on my Instagram. It's down there, Instagram, my Twitter, and my um, Facebook. 
So thank you very much. Um, I hope uh, I have encouraged you to read. I'm now reading another book by another female author. I'll get back to you with that book review after I finish it. So thank you very much and take care everyone.